Hello, fellow gamers. Today we are going to do something very special. We are going to unbox and play the new Atari 2600 Plus, the latest retro console from Atari that just came out a few days ago. This console is a modern remake of the Atari 2600, which was one of the first home video game systems that revolutionized gaming with microprocessor-based hardware and swappable ROM cartridges. The Atari 2600 was released in 1977 and had some of the most legendary games of all time, such as Space Invaders, Pac-Man, and Pitfall. I personally did never have an Atari when I was a kid, but I remember playing some games on the Atari 2600 at a friend's house. I especially remember Pitfall, which was probably one of the first games I ever played, besides the Game & Watch portables. Atari had a long and turbulent history of making different consoles and computers, some of which were hits and some of which were flops. Here's a quick overview of Atari's products. 1977, the Atari 2600, originally called the Atari Video Computer System, is launched with nine games, including Combat and Adventure. It becomes the dominant game system in North America and sells over 30 million units. 1982, the Atari 5200 is released as a successor to the 2600, with improved graphics and sound and a new controller with an analog stick and keypad. However, it is not backwards compatible with 2600 games and suffers from technical issues and poor reception. It sells only 1 million units and is discontinued in 1984, which brings us to 1984. The Atari 7800 is launched as a competitor to the Nintendo Entertainment System with backwards compatibility with 2600 games and a digital joystick. It has a modest success, selling 3.77 million units, but is overshadowed by Nintendo's dominance. It is discontinued in 1992. 1985, the Atari ST is introduced as a line of 16-bit home computers with a graphical user interface, built-in MIDI ports, and a mouse. It is popular among musicians, programmers, and gamers, and competes with the Commodore Amiga 500. However, it sells less than the 500, which has better graphics and sound and loses market share to the IBM PC and Macintosh in the late 1980s and early 1990s. It is discontinued in 1993. There are many more Atari products that we could talk about, such as the Atari Lynx, the Atari Jaguar and the Atari VCS, but we'll save those for another time. Today we are focusing on the Atari 2600 Plus, which is a tribute to the original 2600. This console is designed to look and feel like the original, with the same metal switches, wood grain, front panel, and CX40 joystick. But it also has some new features, such as HDMI output, USB power, and multiple screen resolutions, especially the widescreen ones. It also plays both Atari 2600 and 7800 game cartridges. The Atari 2600 Plus comes with a 10-in-1 game cartridge that features some of Atari's most famous games, such as Adventure, Combat, Missile Command and Yohohor's Revenge. We are going to play some of these games and see how they hold up today and more importantly, how they perform on this new reimagining of the Atari 2600. I also have some of my original Atari 2600 cartridges that we are going to try out on the new console. And with that giant monologue out of the way, it is finally time to play some games and have fun. And for that purpose, we do have to uh, jump right in. And we're in, I guess. Let's see if it uh, starts up to something. Or if it's like the original 2600. Okay, so we need the game cartridge in. Let us try uh, the original Pitfall here. Which is basically the game that, I, uh, that a friend of mine had as a kid. I think it's... Oh wait, I think we need to turn it off first. I think it's the only game that I got some nostalgia for. 
Let's see if it works. Original cartridge. Loading game. <laughs> it might be that the cartridges are dirty. You can see probably, now you can see it. there's some contacts in here. We got to clean them. I cleaned them before more than once. So we're going to put some of this isopropanol. I think in English it's called isoprop alcohol or something. In German, everything is anol if it's alcohol. We're going to clean those contacts. Don't blow, don't blow into your cartridges. You will just blow some, some spit in it. And then we'll start corroding, so don't do that. Just clean them with, with some isoprop alcohol. It wasn't really dirty. Maybe a little, little bit of dirt on it. Let's give it one more try. I mean, it's a very old cartridge. It's a uh, 77. That's 43 years. I don't think it's meant to do that. I have to say the joystick is very much like the original. Oh, it works. Okay, so. Uh, Pitfall. There we go. We're playing Pitfall. I like it that uh, this uh, little logo lights up. I think it, it isn't like that on the uh, original Atari. All right, here we go. 1982 by Activision. Really? This was made by Activision? Who'd have thunk? So we got, oh, we got a scorp. Wait, what if we go, what if I go back here? I think you're supposed to collect nothing. Okay. Aren't you supposed to collect treasure or was that a different game? Uh oh. No. Oh, we got the timing. We got a horrible timing here. Oh, there we go. Oh, jump. How do I jump off? Okay, joystick down. All right, here we have to jump over the crocodiles. <laughs> and into the crocodiles. Wow, this is very, uh, very close timing. So now you're stuck on this screen, and to reset the game, you have to... There's a button here that says, uh, Game Reset. And it instantly resets to the screen here. Wait, let me turn uh, the Atari off here. Oh, okay, we can see our health there. Those two. <laughs> I think you get three health. Yeah, but now we got just one, uh, one health left. There we go. Okay, down to jump off the... the... No! 
I cannonballed into the alligator. See, when I was a kid, I didn't get much further than that. I think one time I beat the crocodiles. But it turns out the game is a little bit longer. And when I when I played this at a friend's house, obviously it wasn't 1977. I don't think I was able to play games then. Um, no. Oh, I need to stay down. So I think it was the console from his father that uh, he somehow didn't need anymore or want anymore. He gave it to his kin kid, which was my friend. And then I think at his house I played uh, this and uh, I think I remember some Star Wars game, but I don't even know if there's a Star Wars game. No! I swear I hit the jump button. And I swear by the moon and the stars. Yes, I made it. You son of a... <laughs> We're on, the, on our uh, last life. Okay. No. I was gonna say, I'll go, I'm gonna... I'm gonna take the scorpion over these... Uh, Balls. And then I died to the scorpion. <laughs> okay, so this game is a meanie. Alright, now we should have good timing. Crocodiles, let's see, we gotta jump. You gotta jump early because the jump... <laughs> okay, that's too early. Okay. You gotta jump early because um, he jumps. The I mean the the crocodiles. The distance of the crocodiles is further than what he is going to jump. Or is it less far? I don't know, I can't remember. At least it's uh, it's different and that makes you land uh, in the water or in the crocodiles. Oh, look at this timing. We can't do anything. We can jump off into the... What are those? Boulders? I guess they're logs. Oh yeah, they're rolling logs. Now I can see it after 40 years. It only took me 40 years to see that. The crocodiles... No! I have to say, this this uh, stick is very stiff. There we go. There we go. You have to really force it to, uh, to make it move. Okay, I'll take the scorpion instead of the logs now. Let's see. Hop! There we go. Is it, it's not a coincidence that they... Oh, shit. Nothing, it's just, just a wall. <laughs> nice. So it turns out Activision were already A-holes back then. It wasn't, it's a, not a new thing for them. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, we got a snake on the other side. What am I supposed to do with the snake? Okay, okay, fine. No problems. Oh, we got a, okay. A gold bar. Go, go, go. Hop! I think I never got this far in this game, ever. Which isn't hard since, uh, you know, I never had this console. As a kid, anyways. What? Oh! You don't even know it's a hole until it opens. Isn't that great? I never ever got this far. Oh no! <clears throat> Should we give it one more try or are we good? Mm. I want to give it another try, but uh, for the sake of the video. 
we're gonna try something else. So this was um, Pitfall. The original uh, cartridge. But if I remove my face, then you can see it probably better. You gotta clean those contacts. If you, if the cartridges, if you have like an Atari, I mean, you probably know it if you have an Atari 2500. You just use some, uh, some of these, some of these cotton things, and then you put some isopropanol on it, some isoprop alcohol, and you should be fine. Let's try another original game. How about this one here? Good old Pac-Man. Let's see. We can make this camera a little bit smaller. Maybe just leave it, leave it on. All right, Pac-Man. Why are they flickering? Is that normal? I think this is not the best. Is it? This th is this the best? This is not the best Pac-Man game on the Atari 2500, isn't it? I think there's one that's at least there's at least one that's more uh, beloved by uh, by Atari fans. <gasps> Excuse you. I think I mentioned it. I got an. I got an original Atari 2600 that I bought like a while ago, but uh, it needs, it has horrible graphics. It's like very, it's got lots of uh, very dirty signal basically. And uh, I bought an RBG mod, I think. Is it an RBG mod? Or a composite mod, something, I don't know. I bought the mod for- oh, shit. But I need to install it myself, and it's, uh, it's not difficult, but it requires lots of works and soldering and everything, so... I figured I'd just buy this one. <laughs> it's, it's not an original Atari, so it's not really the same, but it's still... It's a lot less work, and I can play my uh, cartridges on this one, which I think is pretty... Pretty cool. You can play the original cartridges. Now, if you don't have any original cartridges, it doesn't make any sense to get this. I think it also has a... Uh... We're currently playing on widescreen mode, and I think it does have a... Four on three mode. Or square, square screen mode, however it's called. Oh, excuse me. No! No, what am I doing? What is the joystick doing? Are they, are they, the ghosts, supposed to flicker like this? It's not normal, isn't it? There we go. Bon appétit! We need, uh, just... Two more? No, I got one more at the top. Go there quick and whoosh. It's always the same map, isn't it? So the, the first Pac-Man game that I played was on the Amiga, which was a, uh, a computer that I actually owned and loved and had lots of nostalgia. There's gonna be some, there's gonna be definitely uh, some Amiga content on this channel at some point. 
We're gonna play on original Amiga, not a... Not a modern uh, remake or reimagining of the console. Alright, then that's Atari. I mean, it's not Atari, it's Pac-Man. <laughs> I guess it's both. So that was Pac-Man. I guess those that had an Atari that are maybe a little bit older than me are gonna love these games, but most of the people aren't. Um, they're gonna seem to be very primitive. So let's play the game uh, that I know from Seinfeld. This one here. Frogger. Let's see how that one... Let's see if it works first. I hope it does work. We're not going to play through all of the games that I have, I think. I think I got 25, 25 games or something, which are too many. Okay, Frogger. So Frogger is you are a frog and you need to reach the other side of the road. And nothing happens until I think we need to hit this here. And now we can move. There we go. So we got to reach the other side. We don't want to get hit by a car. Uh, these are logs. You can jump onto logs and lily pads, I guess. I don't know why they're brown. And then, and then you die like this. <laughs> no, you need to park the frog in those spaces at the top. When, when the lily pads are blue, I don't think you can jump on it. Or maybe they're leaves. I don't know what they're supposed to be. And we have nowhere to go. Oh, we do have... There we go. Okay, one frog is safe. Now the French chef can make... Uh, frog legs. <laughs> We got two, we got two frog leggers up there. Uh oh, that was close. And boom, number three. We got to park two more. No, no. He just dies if you, if you don't, uh, if you don't reach the space. No, God damn it. All right, let's see. No. Wait, why could I stand on the blue ones when it was blue? I thought if you do that, you drop in the water. Okay, we got four in. We gotta reach the one at the very top. I have to say, this joystick is extremely stiff. No! We gotta be faster. Uh, how many lives do we have? We don't have lives? There we go. We got the good ending for once. Oh, it just resets. Nice. Okay, I think we lost all our lives. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go one more time. That was very fast. I mean, fast. It was short. This, I have to say, like, I got a... I got a... Like I said before, I got the original console before, I got the original joysticks before, and they they are, they feel pretty much the same. They are extremely stiff and rigid, like unpleasantly so. So while it, it's a good and uh, a good recreation of, of uh, the joystick, I guess, I don't think it was, it was really a good joystick. To begin with.
Okay, first frog is in. The frogger man is coming. Oh no, I'm gonna die. So I can just, oh wait, no, 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 no. So if the leaves or, or the round things, which are, I think they're supposed to be leaves or lily pads, if they're blue, what's the point that they turn blue? You don't sink them? No. Where's my life? Oh, the lives are, are at the bottom left. We got two lives left. That is unforge. And if you get the spider, or what is it, the mosquito maybe? We get some extra points. Because points are really important when you're dead. Well, how many points did you get in your life? I don't know, I'm dead. <laughs> oh no, I ran into the car. I confused myself with my bad joke. Let's try and go all the way up and then... No, how is that? <laughs> God damn it. All right. That was Frogger. So this was gaming 1977. Isn't it crazy? Let's try... Oh, this is not going to work, maybe? I don't know. Oh, we got some different cartridges. I, I don't know. Maybe they're NTSC or something? So what we played before, Pac-Man, looks like this. Right? It's a, It's got an open slot here. And the next game has is closed. I don't know if that is, that's even going to work. I guess we can try. It looks like it went in. <laughs> okay, so this reads both. What is the difference? Why why do some of them have this protective protective shielding here? And some of them don't. Maybe it's just smarter. It's a smarter way of making the cartridge so the dust can't go on it. It might be a, a reason. Nice. It's a shark coming. Why is this a... Uh... <laughs> I love the soundtrack. So I guess you, you get the gameplay, right? We gotta destroy all those asteroids. That's why the game is called Asteroids without the uh, crashing into them. Oh, wait, I'm still alive. I got a life. No! And now I don't got it anymore. <laughs> uh. Let's go for one more go. Then it just restarts. Oh, level, what is it, level four or four lives? I can't tell. I have to say, you have to be very rough with this joystick for it to, to, for, to get it to do anything. <laughs> Playing computer games. 
Computer games. <laughs> yeah, you respawn surrounded by asteroids. And instantly explode. I mean, that was clearly my bad. I admit it. I should have respawned somewhere else, right? Yeah. You know? What is this noise? What was this noise? The kingdom for an auto fire button. No. Watch out, the shark is coming. No, they literally sandwiched me between two of those. All right, let's uh, switch to the next game. <laughs> so that's interesting. That it reads those. Those cartridges. Are those like PAL and uh, NTSC versions? I can't tell. There's nothing on the cartridge that says... Can't see anything that says PAL or NTSC. No. All right, next game. We're going to try the cartridge that comes with uh, this console that has 10 games on it. But first, let's try a few more original games. So far, I'm really positively surprised that they all work. Let's try this one, Super Breakout. I used to like Breakout games on the Amiga, which was like, I think over 10 years later that I had my first PC. And graphics were a little bit more evolved back then. <laughs> yeah, this is uh, basically just the geometrical lines and figures. Okay, how do I start the game? Use with paddle controllers. Oh, that's why it's not happening. We have to use it with the paddle controllers. Yeah. Oh, well. I guess, uh... I have to go to the basement and get my paddle controllers. I'll be right back. Honestly, I tried to avoid this, but, uh... Here we are. At least, at least you get to see the original Atari 2600, I guess. So this is how the original one looks. It has, uh, I got a three switch one. I think there's two switch ones. It looks very similar. And it's in very good shape, the one that I have. But unfortunately, the video signal is very dirty. Or whatever the word is in English. So, yeah. We got that one. And we got the paddle controls. We got also the original joysticks. These are 40-year-old joysticks. Literally the same. You can't tell the difference.
afraid I got another pitfall here. It has an X on it. That means it doesn't work, I guess. Huh. I can't remember if I cleaned this or not. It's definitely the better looking uh, cartridge. Okay, let me hold it here where there's no green screen. Oh, it's a little bit different. It's got more text at the bottom. One player using left controller. Oh, you can only use the left controller for this. Harry's Jungle Adventure. Oh, this is the international edition. Now I can see it. Under the X, you there's an international edition. Huh. Would you look at that? No, seriously, look at it! <laughs> no, just kidding. Um, Just kidding, of course. Oh, we got the... Oh. Oh, the paddle controls are... Get this out of the way. There are two paddles. I don't get it. Here, it says paddle. All right, we're going to try this game again with the paddle controls. I do not like those no <laughs> those noises. Oh, I got the, the... Oh, it's an RGB kit. Yeah, you can't see my name and address here, but you, you can see this one. This is fine. This is uh, where you actually buy it from, from Tim Worthington. He does the mods. It's his official, I think, business address. And this is how it looks inside. And I should have done this at some point. I bought this a while ago, but you can see it's a little bit... Uh, it's not a hard mod to do, but it requires lots and lots of, uh, of soldering. So you got to solder all of these holes... All of these metal sticks through the holes onto the board and everything, and it's, uh... I guess I have to do it at some point, and then, then we would get a better video signal. Now we got this too, so we can, uh... So you can modify the cable! <laughs> no, actually, I think I got... I, I bought this to modify the cable, but then I found... A cable that should... that should work. That was already modded, like this one here. But yeah, anyhow. And yeah, I'm sorry if you find this boring, but I mean, this is a... This is an Atari 2600 sort of a video, so... Why not go into the specifics? I don't do these videos a lot, to be honest. And to lie, I do them every day. <laughs> All right, so we got two pedals here. I think they still work. The last time I checked them, which was a couple of years ago, maybe. No, not that long. Maybe two years ago, maximum. They still worked. All right, let's turn it on. And before you say, well, that sucks. The game comes, but there's no paddle control. I mean, the console comes without paddle controls. Uh, yeah, it does, but this game isn't part of this new reimagining. It's it's an old game, so yeah, these things were actually sweet lord. It's a uh... it's weird. It looks like it's jumping around a little bit. How do I shoot the ball? Oh no, I uh, hang on. Oh, maybe I need to put it in the other, in the right slot. Sometimes on the games it says if it's the left or the right slot. For one or two players using joystick controllers. Okay, this. This game, the next one after this, it's probably the one that I'm gonna enjoy the most. Let's see what the cartridge says. 
Use with pedal controllers. It doesn't say where to use them. Let me switch here. And you got like a cool, a cool pilot, space pilot on top of it. And then, and then you, you start the game and it's just, it's just lines. Game reset, maybe now. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just had to click game reset. Oh, because you obviously you don't. Uh, the game doesn't start up and then it starts. You have it starts up and then it's frozen until you hit the game reset. Okay, now it works. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm happy. Now I'm happy. On a scale of one to ten, I'm zero point five percent happy now. So I used to have uh, Arkanoid on the Amiga, which was one, one of my favorite Amiga games. We're definitely going to see that one on this channel at some point. And I'm going to start my uh, retro game, retro, retro game series. We're going to play lots of Amiga games, which are graphically and acoustically way beyond this uh, Atari 2600. They're still old looking and sounding games, but it's from, I think, from the 16 bit age. And the Amiga CD32 is going to be 32 bit. But it's not really going to make use of it. It literally has almost the same games as the 16 bit Amigas. It was like such a failure of a console. I just had to have it. So I ordered it, like, I think two months ago. Still waiting until it gets cleaned, refurbished and everything, and then we're gonna... We're gonna see... We're gonna see some games. So this is, uh... This is more fun than, uh... The other games so far, I have to say. Did you know this was... No, that's not true. I think Pang was the very first... Or no, not Pang. Pong was the very first video game. There were like a arcade machines that had only Pong on it, and like uh, that was uh, like consoles, but they only had one game on it. It was Pong, and Pong is basically this game, but uh, you have just two paddles, like the one that I'm moving, one left, and one right, a ball in the middle, and then you just uh, you just throw the ball back and forth. It's a, I think it was a two-player game, but you could, you could probably also play it against uh, artificial stupidity. Let's do one more. <clears throat> and that was the, the very first video game, I think, that ever existed. Now, don't ask me exactly when that was. I would assume someone in the early 70s, maybe, or maybe the late 60s, too. <laughs> I have not existed then, so... I guess I could have still... I could have still gotten one of those from... From a friend of my... Uh... No, I guess not. From my father. Yeah, no, he wasn't really a gamer. <laughs> Not really. I don't think there were many gamers here. Maybe this was more like an American thing, having uh, the Pong consoles. And I remember the friend of mine who had this Atari 2600. He had a ton of Star Wars stuff, too. And I don't know if it was actually his stuff, or if he, uh, if he got it from his, uh, from his father or his stepfather. I mean, it was definitely his Atari to begin with. It was already old when we played it. But I still remember those uh, Jungle Hunt. Now, how is it called? You know, the game where you jump over crocodiles? Pitfall, there we go. And for me, it was a lot later when I got uh, when I got a console. Actually, my first console was the PS One. 
And I had the Amiga before that. So, how many lives do we have? God damn it. I have to say, Arkanoid is a lot more fun than this. <laughs> but we played it, the pedal controls work, so we got it to work. That's, uh, that's, that's a thing. A thing that is a thing. Now, let's play some River Raid, which is a shoot 'em up game. I do love me a good shoot 'em up. I do not love me a bullet hell game when it gets too too much too much crap on the screen. I do not love that. All right, we got the joystick back. And thank God for that. So far, they all worked. The only one that had a little bit of a problem was the first pitfall, I guess. Copyright 1982. Oh, we gotta hit the, the game reset switch. Okay, we're running out of fuel, so you gotta fly over the fuel things. I think you can blow them up too. You don't wanna blow them up. Because uh, you can't get fuel otherwise. Okay, moving is cheating. Oh, we can go faster too. Interesting. Oh! That fuel. Okay, no! Let's get the fuel instead of fighting the helicopter. Oh! We got a full gas tank! This game is the most fun game. I have to say it right away and how it is. No! <laughs> the second I say it's fun, I die. Can we fly over the land? No. Why are there houses there? Like, you can shoot them and then you can't even go onto the land. I already died. Oh. All right, let's go once again. Remember, we can't fly until land. I guess uh, I guess they they went uh, super or hyper realistic in this aspect, right? Because planes, they just they can fly only on water. Everyone knows that. On land, you just explode. No. <sighs> We're not dead. Where are our lives? Two. I guess two is our lives. A thousand five hundred is the score. Ah. Oh, you... He, he, he drives into the wall first. You gotta be kidding me. You watch out those planes. Oh, you can actually destroy them. <laughs> God damn it. I need to focus.
Yeah, this is by far the most fun game, I have to say. It's a very simple shoot em up, but. Oh, almost. Almost got me. Our fuel is fine. We got lots of fuel. Are we restarting at the beginning every single time? Oh, so you gotta accelerate and decelerate all the time. And I think we're not starting at the beginning. It looks like we're further in than just the beginning. We got, uh, we're also on our last life. Oh, we got all the fuel on the other side, and here we got nothing. Am I glad I picked the side with nothing on it? We need fuel! No, I blew it up! Uh-oh. Let's give it one more try. The last one, then we'll switch game. Yeah, so this is the complete beginning with all those fuel tanks. So I should have picked a side with, uh, with all the fuel, it turns out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you need to know that beforehand, otherwise it's too late when you get there. Which is, you know, it's I guess it's a fair mechanic to just die and then learn. You can't possibly make it the first time. That is very fair. It's very fair indeed. Fair and square, without the fair part, it's just square. I mean, this game is literally just squares, to be honest. <clears throat> Fuel is fine. Yeah, fuel is fine. Oh, this helicopter doesn't move? Oh, goddamn plane. There we go, got him. So at one time we gotta go. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Love it. We gotta go left to get all the fuel, but uh, I don't even know if we're gonna reach it. Oh! You wouldn't believe how hard I'm squeezing down on the joystick. So that was not the face of happiness that I made. It was not the face of happiness. And this is the face of getting the... Uh, getting the fist in your face. That's your... That's the face. Okay, well, we'll switch. We'll play something else. Calm down, little Billy. Calm down. It's just a computer game. Yeah. It doesn't matter if you play for 50 hours and then die and lose everything. It's just a game. <laughs> Yeah, why would you have any emotions? Um, no, let's look at the at the cartridge that came with um, with the Atari 2600 plus this one here. It's got uh, it's got 10 games. And I think you got to change the switches in the background. So these these are diagrams here. They mean. Uh... Oh, you can not change those switches. So you gotta, you gotta do a combination of these switches <laughs> in the back uh, to play the game in the front. 
All right, let's play. I think this is a game that I saw a couple of YouTube videos too, which is very primitive, but it's like one of the first adventure games. We got to put all switches up. And you're just an arrow that goes around and you can pick up a key, I think. And then I'm just going to show you instead of talk. And we should have the right game selected. All the switches are up. And the cartridge should be obviously clean because it's new. One. Oh, I love this green on white. Uh, let's uh, do this here. New game. <gasps> oh, we're not an arrow, we're a dot. And we can walk around here. We got the quacker man. It doesn't have any sound. Oh, so that's a tunnel. Wait, I can move this. And then I can go this way, huh? Oh, I have to press the button to put it down. Hot diggity dog. But actually, I want to see what's in the center. No, stop it. Picking this thing up. Oh, it's like the other, the other, uh, the first screen where we had a key. This was the first role-playing game. Game. No, I have no idea. When was this game? Oh, because we have the new cartridge. There's not going to be a date on it. And I don't have the original adventure, I think. No. No, I don't have it. Unfortunately. And I think you can pick up a sword and then you can fight these quackers here. Pick up a key and then I can go into the gate. Can I go into the gate without the key? I don't know. The arrow. What is the, is the arrow? Oh, that's a sword. If, it, if you look at it from the other direction, it's a sword. This is how you fight. Look, we killed it. <laughs> okay, uh, we got the black key. And you know, once you go black, you never go back. Um, let's see, labyrinth. If we go up, we should reach the black gate. No, we're just back out again. God damn it. Gosh, gosh darn it. Oh, we can't go through here. Oh, we got to move the gate back. I see. All right. So that was adventure. Uh, what did we play? Wait, we played Asteroid Super Breakout. Oh, we didn't play Space Invaders. That is one of the all time classics. Oh, I thought Asteroids was Space Invaders. That's why I put it on on on, a, on the pile of the first games to play. So this is the Space Invaders game. Use with joystick controllers, 1978. So I guess if you're asking who this console is for, then I guess it's for people that have the original cartridges. They don't want to... That doesn't... Is that is that right? No, that doesn't look right. They don't want to... Um, oh, we can't even clean this because it's got... It's got this shielding. So, yeah, I guess it's for people that have original cartridges like me that 
want a clean signal and uh, they can just use this console here with uh, with HDMI out. You won't get any flickering or anything. I mean, I guess unless the flickering is part of the game, then you still get it, obviously. Let's see if it works this time. Otherwise, we actually can just uh, reset it or something. Oh, it still looks, uh, you know. Let's try this. Oh, maybe it works. Maybe it actually works. Oh, it looks like it works. Never mind. That was just the screen before you hit start game button. So I always thought this this type of game was a stupid game because uh, I already had the Amiga. And this was this. The Atari games were like very, very basic, much too basic for my taste back then. Probably for the Amiga games are probably too basic for the taste of most of my viewers as well. So, you know, that's it. It's just how it is. But I appreciate playing these games from time to time. Do we kill the spaceship? I mean, the UFO? I got it. Oh, they're cheating now. They're cheating. Are you kidding me? <laughs> F you, sir. F you with the broomstick. So is this a timed thing? They become faster when... Uh, or when I kill more of them, they become faster. can you walk into a shot from the side? It's like somebody shooting a gun and you're running into into the bullet from the side. You're hitting it from the side and then you die. Oh man. So they, they always become faster, don't they? I love I love the sound that has got <laughs> And we're dead. What is happening? This is not the game. Okay. Let's play something else. Oh, yeah. Why? Let's try another game on this cartridge instead of a... Uh, what is a game that I don't have? Haunted House, I think. I don't have Haunted... Oh, I do have Haunted House. Dodgem Combat... It's very simple game names. I gotta play some combat today. Hot diggity dog. You can't believe the combat in combat. If there's more combat than you can shake a stick at. Too much combat. Can't combat the combat. Oh, it's a tank game. It's a pure two-player game. He's not moving and I can't, <laughs> I can't hit him. There we go. All right. I already won the game. I already won it. Let's see. Um, dodge him. Surround. Surround? Is that a Dolby surround game? <laughs> oh, around no, that's not Dolby. That's FX or something. Haven't been in theaters for a while. There we go.
try that one. Hey, what are we playing? I forgot it. Combat? No, we did combat. We play surround now. <laughs> surround. We're playing surround. Oh, this is like snack. It looks like it's a two-player game. So you just draw a line. Okay, we can't play this alone. Let's try a few more original games. Yeah, you just draw a line and then the player that f dry, that, that, that uh, rides, drives, or walks, or whatever, into your line that you're drawing behind you, uh, that player loses. I think this is one of the most beloved Atari games? No, is it Amiga games? Can't remember. There's a... It's Mrs. Pac-Man, or Miss Pac-Man. And... I think one of the of the most beloved Amiga games with Pac-Man is also called Miss Pac-Man. I'm not sure. We're going to play that one day. And I think it is a 3D game, if, I'm, if I remember correctly. Beautiful. I mean, it already looks better than the first Pac-Man game because it's got a bigger level. They're on to me! Why are they so fast suddenly? Somebody got crunch. <laughs> No, no, yes, no, yes! What? Go in! Pardon you, little jerks. And now we're gonna go right... Oh, they, they went right, too. Sacks of garbage. What happens if I get the cherry? Do I get, like... Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, let's get the cherry. Pretty please with the cherry on top. Uh-oh. Mrs. Pac-Man. There we go. First try. Thank you. Thank you. Oh no, I'm the best. I just won the first level in a children game. I need a Nobel Award of Gaming now. What is the cherry here? Let's see. Oh, it just gives you score. It gives you a higher score! Let's get the annoying ones in the center here. Oh, it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. You screwed up again. You buffoon screwed up again. Hop! You gotta be kidding me! There was the, the, the thing, you know, the thing. It was blinking. I was blinking there. You son of a... You son of a... Brown-colored things that humans make with their food. They create it from food. The brown-colored sausage that comes out from the back. 
There we go. We avoided profanity. Oh, wait, I need to eat this too? Oh. How many lives do we have? One? I think I might be covering up this ball here. Is this our life? This brown ball? I like how their faces change to, to scared faces when you got uh, the thing. Like, oh, he's gonna eat me. And not in a good way. I'm gonna eat you in the worst way. I'm gonna eat, eat you. And the levels change too. Which makes it already a lot better than the first pack, man. Let's wait here and hop. You <laughs> little you. Yeah, they're like uh, con congesting on me. What is this beeping noise? Uh oh, I, I pushed the stick in the other direction and they still went. Oh, help! God damn it. Oh, uh, yeah. We got no more uh, big balls left. Or, or I guess, uh, dots. Did I get it? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I think I got it. Either that or it restarted. It might have restarted. No, I didn't want to go this way. The sticks are a little bit too... Is that a pretzel? Wait, it's an actual pretzel. The sticks are a little bit too stiff for their own good. Sometimes you don't want them to be stiff, you know. It's just embarrassing. I think I can reach that one. I'm gonna leave here. Oh, 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 ah! <laughs> okay, I just won the game again. Yeah, I just beat it. 100%ed it. Uh, let's play a few more games. Although I'm kind of done, but let's play like a couple more. Let's play. What is this one? A Dig Dug. The Underground Smash Arcade Hit. Nineteen. Wait, 1987. So this is like 10 years later and still on the same machine. That is crazy. Should we see if... You know what? I want to see if the international edition of Pitfall works. I guess that's one thing that we have to try out last. Because it didn't work on... A, on this one here, on the original 2600. Maybe it's like a, a region thing. Maybe it works on the 2600 plus, the new one. Wait, this is like Emerald Mine, isn't it? I don't know what's happening. Oh, now I'm in control. I can't go up. Oh, they just go through the walls? And I can't dig down? Oh, I can only dig through the... All oh, through the brown area? Oh, I can't dig down. Game of the year. 
<coughs> what am I supposed to do here? Hey, let's see if... Oh, it's a little bit stretched out, isn't it? This is how it actually would have been. Oh, so all the games have been stretched out a little bit, unfortunately. That is unfortunate. Oh, we can what? What is that? We got a laser blaster here. So you can play in the original ratio. Or, or resolution, I guess. Do I have to kill these two? Can I go up? What happened? It just left? Oh, this is a different level. I can't go up. Oh, now I can go up. I can't dig up, I guess. I can't dig upwards. So what is the, the mission? Oh, I have to keep pressing the button to blow them up like a balloon, I guess. I don't want to go down here, you idiot. There we go. Nice, this guy's stalking me. Nice. Yeah, I got the good ending again, yeah. I keep getting those, I don't know how I make it. How I do it, I'm just a genius. We got two games here which are very similar. One is a Millipede and one is Centipede. 1982 and 1987. And I guess they're pretty much the same game. <laughs> With like minor changes, maybe. All right, let's play maybe two or three more games. I don't want to play everyone, everything, everything that I have. And we got too many left. We got like, ooh. Okay, let's play everything that I got. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 games left. We're just going to give them... We're not going to play them a lot. Uh, for a long time is what I mean. I think if this... Thing, if this <laughs> I can't speak anymore. Uh oh. If this thing reaches me, I'm dead. These flying uh, butt plugs or whatever those are. <laughs> oh, the spider makes all this noise. What are, is this level two? <laughs> what the hell was that? What am I supposed to do with this thing here? Oh, we shoot it. Killed everything. What the hell is this? This is madness. I just get killed at the corner of the gate. All right. Centipede.
It's going to be the same game, isn't it? Uh, that's the oh, that's the older one. That's five years older <laughs> than the one we just played. Uh, it works. It looks like it's. Uh, it looks like uh, yeah. It looks like it's. It might be dirty. You're a dirty little boy, aren't you? Dirty little boy. So we'll get some some isopropane. I don't know how it's called in English. In German, it's isopropanol, which is isoprop alcohol. Which is supposed to be a type of cleaning alcohol that doesn't leave any, any residue. And since we're cleaning contacts here, we don't want any... We don't want a film of anything on them. We want them to be clean. Clean as a whistle. I do have some contact cleaner as well, but... That is a spray, and I think it might be a little bit too... A little bit of an overkill for this. Oh, look, there's dirt on, on the cartridge, not on the reading thing. That's why it's so dirty now. It, there wasn't that much dirt inside. But like here on the, on the, on the edge here, you could probably even see it here. So that's why some of them have like this uh, protection on them. Well, this. I mean, it's, it's, it's literally dust. It's not like dirt, dirt. And then you blow into it with lots of spit. Oh, and then it's clean. And then it's going to work until it starts corroding. All right, let's see. It works, so it was clean. I mean, it was dirty, <laughs> and now it's clean. So this is, yeah, it's definitely simpler. We got less stuff going on. But I have to say, shooting feels better. It's the butt plug centipede. <laughs> you don't want it to reach you. Well, I guess maybe some people do. Did I, did I make it? I can't tell. Oh, wait! I think I made it. No, we got a couple more games to go through and I'm about to run out of time here. Oh yeah, Pitfall International Edition. Let's try that one. I put an X on it because I thought it didn't work, but... At least I hope that this 200, 2600... Uh, Plus is region free, plays both international and PAL and uh, NTSC versions and everything. Let's see. Oh yeah, <laughs> it works. It just works. Like every th single Bethesda game ever made, it just works. No bugs at all. Let's try cleaning it. I can't remember if I cleaned, cleaned it. This time I'm going to clean only the contacts and then we're going to see if there's any dirt on this uh, cotton sw swab swab. Let's see. Wait. I can't show my face, otherwise the camera focuses on my face instead of on the thing that I'm holding. 
It's got a little bit dirt on it, you can see it. I don't think that was the reason why it doesn't work. It's just not gonna work. All right, and that was that. Literally doesn't work. Uh, let's see, Jungle Hunt. So that one is supposed to be similar to um, the Pitfall game. Is he miss? Is he I like? It is teeth. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have put this on the, the on the on my laptop, huh? Maybe that wasn't wasn't a very smart idea. Oh, it's uh, it's working again. Nice. Every single time. So this one I can't clean it. It's got this uh, protection thingy on it. Maybe you just restart it multiple times. Maybe if we restart it multiple times, it's gonna work. Let me get my laptop out of the way. This one is a little bit expensive and really important because I edit all my games with it. I mean, my videos. Okay, it works. Wait, they're swimming? What? Okay, it's very diff. I mean, it's different. I don't do anything but just click the button. more gameplay than in most AAA games, to be honest. <laughs> you just watch cutscenes all the time. It doesn't seem to even matter when I click it. Okay, I guess we don't want to get... Uh... Oh, I can't swim any further. I can just go between the left border and... Wait. Oh, I need to get air. Oh, that's the... Can you hear it? That's the swimming noise. Can you hear it? The splashing of water, yeah. That's exactly how it sounds. It sounds like a... A bike. <laughs> like a tuk-tuk. In Asia. So, what am I supposed to do? I just... I guess I just have to make it through all the screens, right? We got the swinging screen, and now we got the swimming screen. This is a fast croc. And I guess that it's better if I stay in the center here, so I can sw swim forwards and drop myself. Okay, we press the button to jump. He's running automatically again. It's like the first, it's like the second game with swimming. I can't get past the shit. Oh, we can duck though. There we go. Okay, jump and there we go. Jump and duck. Small ones we jump. Large balls we duck. What a game! It's like we're in Indiana Jones, guys. It's like we're playing where Harrison Ford in the jungle. <laughs> it's like I'm there. You son of a ball! Did you see how it cheated? It went up and down and up and down and then it went up, down, up and down. Quickly, to so that it could... Uh... Is it gonna do the same? No. 
This time, no. Oh, I think I made it. This guy has to be friendly, right? I'm back at the beginning. Nice. So, this one wasn't that bad, but very repetitive. Let's play some, uh, some Donkey Kong, huh? How about some Donkey Kong? For use on PAL UK, TV system only. What do you mean UK? PAL is also the rest of uh, Europe. I mean, pretty much most of the world uses PAL. NTSC is like... Uh, that's basically USA, Canada, Mexico, Japan. I think those are all the countries that use NTSC. It's me, Mario. Was this the first time uh, where Mario was a... Uh, I mean, not on the Atari, I guess, maybe on a Nintendo or something. Where, where Mario made his uh, appearance. What is happening with the... I couldn't move anymore when I got the hammer. I tried to jump down and it just stood there like an idiot. Which is very fair, you know, that's very, very fair. You just change the mechanics of the game in the middle of the game, and then you die. And it's obviously your fault. But that's definitely not King Kong up there, or, or what is it called? Donkey Kong, there we go. It looks like a... Looks like something else. Go, go, go. Maybe we don't need the hammer. Oh, we don't even need the hammer. I thought we, we needed, maybe needed it to fight the boss in the end. Go up, you idiot! It just stops. Ooh, what am I doing here? <laughs> Did I reach her? I can't tell. Why is it the same level again? Did I lose? <laughs> Oh, okay, so the, the, two, the two pink dots at the top are our lives. We got two lives, and I guess I died back then. I think I had this game on, my, uh, on one of my Game & Watch portable consoles. There we go. No, no, no. Go up, you buffoon. You stupid little... I don't know what those even are. They look like they're... Uh, they're like little lamps from Aladdin that you rub and then the, the gin comes out. You rub it... You, go... It just doesn't go up the ladder. Nice. What a good experience. Let's play some, um, some of this. The Mario Brothers. It's me, Mario. Yahoo! Did you know that was a prob? I think it was a French guy who did the Mario voice. I think he was originally a French guy. So I guess this is going to be very different than the original Mario. I think I played this one time, but very long ago. What am I supposed to do? Jump on the... <laughs> uh, I don't jump on the turtles? No, I just... I die when I touch them, okay? Do I need to get this uh, white ball? No, I die too. Oh, oh, wait, I got it. I just do nothing. Oh, yeah, this is the do nothing game. 
I know what I'm supposed to do here. A bounce again? Bounce? Oh, they died. The turtle died. You got a bounce. Bounce. I got a bounce, guys. What am I supposed to do here? God damn it, this white ball is annoying. I die when I touch the green blocks, I die. I die everything. Whatever I do, I'm dead. Oh, wait, maybe I need to put them on the back and then get them. Wait, if I jump. What? Oh, yo, stupid game. <laughs> Stupid game. Okay. I got we got these games left. And then we're done. Let's see. Next game. Pressure cooker. At least everything works so far, except for the international edition of Pitfall. That just doesn't work. And I don't know if it's because it's the international edition or because it's actually... Oh, this one doesn't work either. All right, we got one more to clean. Yeah, let me clean it. Hang on. There we go. Now it's clean. <laughs> uh, no, seriously. When I see people clean their cartridges by blowing in, it always triggers me a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit, but it still triggers me, even if it's their cartridges. But they're just literally, like, ruining very old, old uh, hardware. Or I guess software. Is it is it software or hardware if it's a cartridge? Technically there's just software on it. But it's not just uh it's not just uh it's not just data. This one was a little bit dirty. Yeah, might have been the dirt. You you're a dirty boy. Such a dirty boy. Or girl. Girls can be dirty too. Let's see if it works. Ah, it works. Let's clean it one more time and then we have to put it onto the doesn't work file along with pitfall. I'm gonna try and clean it all the way to the back. Dry it up a little bit with the other side. And then no, <laughs> no, just kidding. Hmm. <laughs> <clears throat> No. There was too much pressure on the pressure cooker. Uh, Qbert. Next game. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm going to sell this one. But I need to fix my original Atari 2600. I need to I need to do the upgrade, the RGB upgrade. Oh, which is going to be so annoying. 
What? Loading game failed? And then loading and then failed? Wait, you can't see it? There we go. I hope it's not a problem with the console. I come from a time, you know, when I had the Amiga PC, there were lots of uh, viruses in circulation. And we had floppy disks instead of cartridges. But they could infect your, your computer. Or you could get like dirt on the on the on the head that reads the floppy disks. So this doesn't work either. Uh okay, so next game. I hope I really hope this one works. Crystal Castles. Or maybe I didn't put it in properly. Oh! It doesn't work. Okay, let's put something in that we played. Uh, let's put River Raid in. Let's see if that one works. Don't tell me this thing is already broken. I'm just going to refund it if it's broken. Made a free video out of it. No, it's not the console. Ah, shit. It's the cartridges that don't work. And this one, we can't even clean it. I mean, you know, I guess you could... Oh, I, guess, I guess you could clean it. If you blow some contact spray into it, I mean blow, you don't blow it. I have a, a spray, spray bottle with contact spray with a, with a, a lit, very small hose. I could, but then you need to, you need to give it time to, oh, you push these back. Well, now we can clean it. The other ones, I'm pretty sure I tried to push them back and that didn't work. <laughs> the next one is Donkey Kong Jr. That one. It works now. It was dirty. You're a dirty little boy. Or girl. What are we playing? Crystal Castles. What am I... <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Oh, it's like Pac-Man. We're collecting those things. But it's a horrible type of 3D where you have to... Uh, to be at the right height to collect them. It's Pac-Man, but worse. It's trees. I mean, graphically, it's more evolved. What the hell is that? We got something following you, too, like in the second stage already. It's kind of hard to, to get these things. Uh, even if you walk past them, you're not exactly on their height. Okay, so that was Crystal Castles. Yeah, and Qbert. That one didn't work. I'm gonna deal with those later. 
And I'm pretty sure I cleaned all of them before. But they have been standing around for a while. Even though it was like in a shelf with the with this part towards the wall. So I don't think there could have been many dust. I mean, there could have... I don't think lots of dust could have gathered on them. This one just doesn't... This one doesn't go in. Oh, this one is different. And it's my dog. Just ignore him. So we can't play that one. Let me show it here. You can see they're different. It's got like... The ones that work have those little plastic things on the side. And this one doesn't, and it has a different shape too. Weird, what does it say? Oh, wait, this is a... Uh... <laughs> I'm, did I buy? I think I bought. This is not even for the Yatari. This is for the ColecoVision. Yeah, weird. Oh, so that's why it didn't work. All right, we got three games left. I got pole position here. Oh, it's got like the edge is broken off. I hope it still uh, sticks in there. Looks like it works. Nice. Love the audio. Oh, that's the speed. Okay, I see. It's got to be one of the first driving games ever. It looks like they're approaching us with the same speed, even if they're on the left side, which like, isn't the left side supposed to be counter traffic? This isn't a two lanes into the same direction type of road, isn't it? This, this noise. Okay, so that was uh, pole position. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. All right, next game we got Mouse Trap. Let's make sure it is for the Atari. <laughs> it's for the Atari. There we go. It's probably the ugliest... Uh, the ugliest box art. I mean, it's, it's... I guess this one is uglier. But at least it's it's uh, this is a new one too. I don't know what to, we're gonna have a look at this too. So we got with that one we got three games left, including Mouse Trap. These are pretty cheap to get, by the way. Most of these cartridges, they're not very popular. Hang on, let me put on some lipstick. 
There we go. Oh, this is another Pac-Man. Oh, there's cats and okay. Why do I look different now? Oh, it's the face of the mouse. It's Pac-Man, but worse. Again. I wonder if the cats are actually hunting me down or if they're just randomly moving around. Can we go through these? No. There is, I think there is a mousetrap game on the Amiga as well. Which is very different. Are they camping the things at the bottom? So why can't I go in here from the side? It's like blinking. And there's clearly those uh, things I need to pick up. Wait, what? I press the button and... What's happening? Why does he switch color when I press the button? I don't get it. I need to switch. There we go. So this happens with the mouse button, but... Oh, I knew it was gonna go up! The second I tried to go there, it goes up. Alright. And that was mouse trap. Game of the year, 1620. Oh yeah, next game, I forgot to show the art, Haunted House. I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Oh, we got bats and... Maybe without me on this, you can see it better. It's like two eyes and bats. What is the thing on top? can tell what that is. Looks like something with teeth. But maybe it's better in this camera. Oh, it's a spider. There we go. Yeah, this camera is just way better than all the other ones that I have. <laughs> but it's a little bit of an inconvenience to take it off the stick there. So, uh, where are we playing? Haunted House. Oh, wait, this is the game where the enemies are invisible, I think. Uh, we, some games, you have to hit the reset switch here. Some games start right away, and others, you have to hit the switch here. Which is weird. This is one of those where you have to hit the switch. Otherwise, you just can't play. And then it starts. And I guess we gotta avoid... You know, we gotta avoid the things. And only when there's lightning we can see... Uh, what's in the in the rims. Except for the enemies, I think. Oh. And we got blasted again. Wait, am I, am I going into a different... Floor? Oh! Oh yeah, I'm leaving floor here. Oh. Can't go this way. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I have a flashlight. And now it doesn't work anymore. Oh, it works only for a limited time. Son of a ghost. And then we have to find a key or something. Right? Right, Billy? We have to find something. There's got to be a reason. What is that? Oh, that's also a stair. So the ghost? Oh, okay, now with the light you can see the, the the different stair steps. Steps of stairs. The stair step stairs. The step stairs.
Am I, I'm, I swear I'm supposed to find something here, which is like a key or is this guy, it also comes for me. Everything, uh, as soon as they see you, they aggro. No. to do wait I saw something oh, those are also just stairs searching all the rooms okay all the rooms yellow I searched all the rooms on the yellow floor the green floor Why aren't there any ghosts anymore? Or spiders or other. Ah, you fucking. <laughs> no profanity, please. This is a no profanity <laughs> channel. <clears throat> the second I say it. So, yellow, we already searched yellow. We don't need to search this again. Ah, oh, what a great game. I love it. <laughs> And we're done. And we're done. No, we got this game here. 32 in one game cartridge. And it's green, so we can't show it. Yeah, I'm sure all those 32 games are going to be really good. It's going to be like 32 versions of the same game. So it's going to be... Oh yeah, we got a... We got a game select switch, and I think this, the original Atari, also had one. This has the difficulty. Oh, so see this one here has three switches. It has the difficulty switches for the right and left player. And the new one has the difficulty switches on the back here. Wait, where do you put in the signal, the video? What? Oh, it's here. Okay, so uh, this this gives a very bad picture here. That's why you want to do an RGB mod. Why you want to do one? That's why you want to do one. <laughs> what a game! Oh, we got three healths, three lives, a house. Wait, a house is an enemy? A house that flies towards us? I mean, I get tanks and birds and uh, planes and balloons, but a house? Okay, let's see, next game. Game number two. Oh, this is a completely different game. Can you, sp can you see the difference? No? Strange. Game number two. Game number three. Game number three. Ah, again. Again, a completely different game. Yeah. Oh. Wow. This cartridge has everything. Let's try the fourth game. Oh, again, a completely different game. Wow, it's got thir <laughs> 33. 33. Game 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It has only 16 games, not 32. Copyright 1988. This doesn't look like a 1988 game. I mean, I guess it maybe it is. Made in China. 
The other one is made in Taiwan. Qbert is made in Taiwan. This one is because there weren't there were not everything was made back in China back then. This is the thing that came up in the last decades or decade. It doesn't say where they were made in the other cartridges. Manufactured under license. No, this one says specifically. It's, I think it's the only one, maybe. But it says 1988, so I don't know if this is like a, a new thing or it's, if it's an old thing. We well, you know what I did is definitely garbage. 32 times the same game. <sighs> oh, wait, we got Haunted House on this one as well. We can... Let's... Let's play this as the last game. Haunted House. So we got to flip the switches in the back here to this position, two down, two up. I mean, yeah. So this should be correct. And boom. And no video. <laughs> no, it always says no video at the beginning. Because it's not transmitting a signal when the console is off. This is the same game, huh? Uh, oh! I picked something up. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Can't tell what it is. I lost it again. This thing here. What the hell is that? The key? Is that supposed to be a key? We're on the red floor. I can't remember a red floor. Oh! Wait, a mace? That's some. It looks. Is that a mace? What is this? Is this a mace? Push! Push! No? What could it be? A sword? No, it's too fat hilt. Oh, we got a ghost coming in. So the original game, I didn't find any objects in them. But here I do. Ah, do. Maybe it's like procedurally generated and sometimes you're just uh, generated in the walls or something. Who knows? I got uh, the mace. Or is it maybe it's a staff? A holy staff. And if I press the button, he just drops it. Oh, the ghost doesn't see me with the thing. Oh. Okay, I got, now I got the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't say what the things are. There's no instructions. Let's see. The original game doesn't have any instructions either. It just got this, uh, this cool art here. With the bats and the eyes and stuff. But Oh, I guess maybe they came within a... They came with a big box, I guess. They might... Wait, did the symbol just change? Are we, are we constructing something? We need to find pieces and then we construct a key or something. I could have swore there was nothing else on this floor. Oh. That just looks weird. Look at this. It's like blinking too. No. I need it. And you can only pick it up if you have light. Otherwise, you just walk over it. No! Stop dropping it. I keep wanting to press the button to interact with something. But you just drop your item. So we got the blue floor, we got the red floor. 
Uh, or at the top. So if I go down here, and I go this way. Ah, oh, we got the green floor, okay. Maybe there's something here. So it's either up or down. I don't know which one goes up and which one goes down. Two. Oh, three. I guess three is the top floor. Oh! Oh, we constructed an urn. What is it, an urn? It looks like a, an urn with some ashes of the deceased in it. Oh, now we're on the on the shit. Shit. No profanity, please. Ah, oh, it came downstairs. Why? Why two? What? Oh, because the stair. Okay, three, and then maybe we can take this there. No, this goes also to floor two. Floor three. Now we got them. We got enemies on every floor. First floor. First floor. What? I just walk into the wall and win. Can't move anymore. <laughs> what the fuck? Or maybe I died. I walk into the wall with the urn, and uh, it's uh, yeah. Oh well. Oh well. It was an experience. It was an experience indeed. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to put this on a. I'm gonna put this on on the Swiss eBay. I'm gonna sell it. And then maybe next year, I'm going to try fix the big brother. There's going to be lots of soldiering, but I do have the equipment. I just, I just know it's going to be a lot of work and I don't want to do it. But I already bought everything. I have the board. I have the soldering equipment. And this is, after all, this is a very beautiful uh, original 14. 40, 40 years old. Is it 40 years old? I mean, this specific version manufactured by Atari Vong. Atari Vong. In Hong Kong. It doesn't say the year it was manufactured, but I guess if you look up the serial number here, it probably tells you. Since this console, the first edition, I think it looked like this. It was a wooden panel edition, wasn't it? And then there's like a Darth Vader edition where this is just black. Which I know it sounds cool, Darth Vader, right? But this just being black is not, it's not, it's, it's not even remotely as pretty. And this one is is almost impeccable. No, it isn't. There's a piece missing here. But I mean, except for those, when you look at it from the front. It looks clean, it looks good. For a 14 year old, four, 40 year old system, huh? Oh, well. I'm gonna have to do this sometime next year. I'm not, a, like I said, I'm not a giant Atari fan. I have a ton of nostalgia for old uh, consoles and computers, but it's mainly Amiga, PlayStation 1 and 2, more for PlayStation 1 and PC games from the 90s. So anyhow, we're done today. Hope you, uh, you enjoyed it too. A little trip into the past. I definitely enjoyed it, especially enjoyed the games not working and figuring out stuff and <laughs> yeah. No, I actually enjoyed it. Otherwise, I mean, I wouldn't have bought this guy here if, um, yeah. Anyhow, thank you for hanging out. See you in the next video. Goodbye.